All right, guys, welcome back to you. Good morning, Columbia, as we continue to track Hurricane Florence. I thought Curtis and I would take a couple of minutes and, and just kind of break down what's happening currently and the, the potential for what can happen for us over here uh, in the Midlands. Uh, this is our radar scope view right now, guys. So Columbia, obviously here, that little bubble that's moving is the wind speed and the direction. If we're curious how far away right now the eye of the storm is, you go ahead and take a look. So we'll, uh, right there in Wilmington, that's the eye of the storm. All right, we're talking about 198.3 miles from Columbia Metropolitan Airport. So we're talking almost 200 miles away at this point. How, how fast or how slow is this moving coming in? This is coming in right now at about 7 to 10 miles an hour. So, so it's slow moving. Fairly. It's slow, and it's probably going to slow down even, even more as it goes. Remember that eye of the storm, and the most dangerous part of the storm is back here, the 1 o'clock area of an eye of the storm, because it whips around, and that's where that rain will thrash in. And that's why it matters uh, as we go. Uh, you know, as this thing tracks in, it's going to go ahead and track down. And this is where it really matters to us, is is it going to go north or south of Columbia because of that eye of that storm? If we can go ahead and switch this over to... Uh, is this still totally unpredictable as far as when it's going it's, to... Be as it hits the landfall, it's going to be easier. At least we're going to be able to tell a little more. Right. Because with that water, it can shift a whole lot. Gotcha. So that's going to change. If we can switch that to HDMI 1 and we can uh, talk a little bit more about the uh, the track as it goes. I might be I might be in the way of the, uh, the ivy. Uh, well, this wind <laughs> damage not. has been showing us some crazy stuff, especially the videos oh, yeah. that we were watching earlier. Yeah, so, so here's where it stands right now. Okay. So six miles an hour is the latest then, so five, five to seven or so. As it tracks in, it stays at Category 1, crosses over into South Carolina, and then this is where it comes into Columbia. And where this comes in is still, even this morning, is still continuing to track a little further towards the north, mm -hmm. and that's a really good thing f for us. Not necessarily great for our friends to the north, but right. for Columbia, that's a good thing. The more north it is on the other side of the eye, remember the worst part of that eye is going to be that 1 o'clock area, if you picture a clock, as it spins counterclockwise and spins that way. So let's go take a look at a couple of the totals real quick. I know we have just a couple of seconds yeah. left. Worst case scenario, this thing stays to the south and the eye passes through either through downtown Columbia or just below Columbia. We see some of these totals. Take a look at Bishopville, 26 oh inches gosh. of rain, yeah. seven and a half in downtown Columbia, two and a half over in Saluda. That's significant rainfall. Yeah. Best case is it continues to track to the north. Mm -hmm. Still, Bishopville getting a good amount of rain. We have got a lot less, 1.6, 1.7 over in Lexington. But remember, just this is fresh rain. This is not all the rain above. This is not the runoff coming through rivers and streams. Right. That we're right in the middle of the catch basin, three rivers. Mm -hmm. It all meets right here. Absolutely. So what's the, what's the expected time that we're thinking that this is going to happen in Columbia? Well, this is through in 1 a.m. This is okay. through. These are totals through 1 a.m. So this is going to be the aggregate total mm -hmm. over the next 48 to 70, you know, 48, uh, 60 hours, give or take, through we're Monday. We're looking at what Saturday, maybe. When well, we're going to start feeling and seeing it today. Today. Remember, you, you know, the okay. storm is is a hundred miles. A couple Absolutely. hundred miles wide. Yeah. So when you're talking about where the storm is, you're talking about where the eye is. Gotcha. So that's we're going to start feeling that rain, and we'll start seeing it tonight into okay. tomorrow morning as it continues on, guys. And we're going to continue to track. We're going to talk with Claire Richardson in a little while as well. She's live at SCEMD uh, as well. Be right back.